Hi everybody, welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. So I recently did a video on this uh, 50 inch tripod designed for smartphones. Um, because of this cradle here you can hold many different size size, um, many different sized iPhone. Hey everybody, so welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. So I recently did a video on this 50 inch tripod designed for smartphones. Uh, the beauty about this tripod it has many different features. For one, it extends to 50 inches. Um, it can hold different different sized um, tablet um, smartphones, um, and there's even an adjustable head where you can adjust the uh, you can twist this handle here, and you can adjust the angle view and angle of your camera on your smartphone. All those nice features, and it also came with this nice little dainty fob like device with two buttons on it and what this is is it's actually a Bluetooth remote control and by by you know having a Bluetooth remote control you can you know start and stop your videos remotely uh, you can take pictures remotely as well without having to keep going to the camera manually to, to start and stop your videos now there's a little fob it has two buttons on it there's a button on the top that says iOS so that's for of course iPhones and iPads and then there's a small button on the bottom that has the word Android on it so for Android Android devices obviously you can use this as well so this is compatible with the Android and the iOS platform now it does come already with a battery pre-installed and it's one of those little uh, tablet sized batteries roughly the size of a of um yeah I think yeah, not a dime. It's actually a bit bigger than a dime. I'll say yeah, the size of a nickel, roughly the size of a nickel. But you can get these batteries from like a watch store or from you know any electronic store. So the battery is easily replaceable, but it comes with a battery already. Now to use it, obviously you have to pair this. And I'm using an example here of an iPhone 5s, which I'm going to pair this with. So what we're going to do is pair this iPhone 5s with this remote camera. Um, shutter right so first thing I have to do we're gonna be using Bluetooth so let me just turn on Bluetooth on my phone first so going to Bluetooth turn it on so right now Bluetooth is activated on my iPhone and then the next thing I do I take my remote uh, shutter and you know it has even a little holder here for for, for keychain which is pretty cool Anyway, there's a switch here on the right. Turn that on. And it's flashing because it's now looking to pair with a device. So just give it a while. See if these two find each other. Now, sometimes if you turn on the fob, which is this, and the light is on solid blue, to make it start flashing, just hold down any of these buttons for a while and it will start flashing. Now right now you're not, you're not seeing anything, so uh, uh, there it is, App Shutter 3 comes up on the bottom. And, or AB Shutter 3, I'm going to press that and let's see if it connects. Yep, oh, it's connected. And this has stopped flashing, so now we are paired. So let's test this out and see if it works. So let me just attach my iPhone 5S into this tripod here, like so. Let's place it there so you can see it. Now let me go into open the camera app. Let me use the one that comes with the phone first. I'm curious to see if it works. Let's just see what happens. You hear that? It took a picture. I just see it tells me manually taking a picture on the phone. Let me go closer here. I'm gonna press this button. Listen carefully. See, it takes pictures. Now, if I hold it down, so I'm using the iOS button. So if I press the Android button, nothing should happen. See, nothing happens because I have an iPhone. So let me see if it works on burst mode. So burst mode happens when you hold down the shutter button. 
the camera takes like a lot of pictures, right? Within about 30 seconds. So let me just hold it down and see what happens. See, so burst mode works as well because you heard the pictures taking. Now, let me see if I can do videos. So let me just go on my phone, go into video mode. And let's see if, so let's see if we hear the, the video starting or stopping. Hi, welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. We're doing a remote test of this fob to see if I can start and stop videos remotely. And it seems like it's working. Let me stop this now. Oh, that worked. And if you don't believe me, let me do a playback. Hi, welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. We're doing a remote test of this fob to see if I can start and stop videos remotely and it seems like it's working let me stop this now so there you have it ladies and gentlemen the 50 inch adjustable tripod with an adjustable mount for smartphones of different sizes um, as far as the largest phone just FYI I tried a Samsung Mega and that's a 6.3 inch phone it doesn't fit but anything underneath that um, would work so like your Samsung S5 your S6 um, your Briv, your Priv by Blackberry, any of those large phones would work for this. Uh, as you can see, I'm using an iPhone 5S. So, you know, any, any, pretty much any regular size smartphone will fit in this thing. And again, this fob works for both iPhones and Android devices as well. And, um, of course, if it works on iPhones and, uh, Android smartphones, it will work on iPads and tablets as well. From you know the Android platform so I'm testing pairing this um, remote uh, control for the camera and video with an Android device and I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S5 so what I'm gonna do is what am I doing here go into settings turn on the Bluetooth it's already on let me just turn it off anyway turn it back on and then it's actually looking for a device to pair with. I'm going to turn on this here. And AV Shutter 3 comes up. Click on that. And it's paired. So let's test it. You go here to camera. And let's turn it around. I want to see my ugly face. <laughs> I need a test subject. What can I use? Ah, let's use this. And that, that's a remote control helicopter. Let's see how that looks. So that is the heli. Oh, the remote control helicopter is right there. So. The remote control helicopter and let's press the Android button it took a picture go again see so uh, let's press the iOS button and see if it works hmm, that's interesting <laughs> with the uh, Galaxy S5 you can press either the iOS button or the Android button and it works but when I use this on an iPhone the only the iOS button works. Anyway, the good news is it works. <laughs> um, so if you want to get your hands on one of these, you can. There's a link at the bottom of, uh, of this video. We can get these off of Amazon. Um, and I also have another video where I go into detail on this tripod as well. Where, and uh, I have links. Uh, I would also have a link where, where you can get this tripod if you think it's pretty cool. And I do have a video on this tripod as well. I think I did say that. Okay. All right. So until next time, you guys have a great day. I'm going to have fun with this. All right, bye.